Hello, in this session we will do the Certified SolidWorks Associate demo exam and we will demonstrate the questions 7 and 8 which will be disassembly. To create this to create assembly for a, source, for a CSWA exam you are given all the parts and here is the trick, you do not need to open the parts in SOLIDWORKS, just start a new assembly. And this particular demo exam, as you can see, it starts from the poles. And we need to read carefully first entire instructions. All the parts are given in a zipped file, which we are going to click on it. And to save it. And I will save it on this PC and I will put it inside my passport inside my SOLIDWORKS directory and then open folder and you can see that the chain link is here. So I will create a new directory chain CSWA practice and I will transfer everything from this directory from the zip file that I download to a CSWA practice. Alright, so we need to read the entire instructions and we seen that the pins made are concentric to chain link and coincident to a face. Unit system is MMGS and we are given in this particular case some three different angles to specify. So we will use the angle mate. And if our coordinate origin is here, we will have one of the four choices for the center of gravity. In order to move that coordinate origin to, on this point, we need to insert a new coordinate origin once we insert the first part. So I'm going just to start a new assembly. In SOLIDWORKS I'm immediately going to change the units to MMGS and I'm going to browse for the parts. And CSWA practice I'm going to get the there are two pins, so let's see which one is the long and short pin. The long pin is number one, so that's my first part. And I'm going to insert the long pin. And I don't need to open it actually, it is not done in SOLIDWORKS. Those parts will not show as a SOLIDWORKS parts. I will just click on it and the first part will always be fixed. So I placed my first part in the assembly. I can create now my new coordinate origin and that will be under reference geometry. I'm going to choose the coordinate origin coordinate system and the selection will be on the top face. However, before I can place a system, I will need to have a vertex or a point. And here I will need to create a point which will be concentric with the top surface in order to meet this requirement. So to have that point concentric with the top surface, I will go to a reference geometry point. And I'm going to place it the arc center and it will be on this arc, like OK. So I created artificial point here. Now I will enter coordinate system and that coordinate system will be locked to that point and the direction of the X axis should be along this direction, along the direction of the global X and that's what we have. So we are done with the orientation of the coordinate origin and Y and Z are pointing right. Now we are going to start putting in the plates, the chain elements. So to put in the first chain element, I'm going to go to the insert component, browse chain link, I'm going to open the chain link, I'm going to place it somewhere here. We'll take a look at the end. I'm going now to make the mates. Going to make this concentric make and coincident make. And I'm also going to make this parallel with the front plane. So if I click on the mate, 
I will choose the inner cylindrical surface here and outer cylindrical of the chain link and outer cylindrical surface of my pin. Click OK. Now I'm going to choose the top face of the chain and top face of the cylinder. Click OK. And I'm going to use the side face of the chain. And from the assembly tree, I will use the front plane. And I can either do the parallel, and I will do the parallel in this case. And let's see if that fully defines it. And actually, it does. That cannot move anywhere. So, now the next, what we are going to put, we are going to put the small pin here. Short pin. And the short pin I will make with a concentric with a cylindrical surface. And I'm going to make it to be coincidental with a surface cylinder with a flat surface of the pin and flat surface of the chain link. So let's choose that top surface of the pin. And let's choose this surface, the face of the chain link. Now, I'm going to insert another chain link. And I'm now going to make the inner cylindrical face with the outer cylindrical face of the short pin. And I'm going to click OK. And now I should either use I should use the width mate, which will be where the width mate is going to be under the mates. And this will be under the advanced mates. And the width mate will center the two. Width. I'm going to choose as a width selection the two faces of the fixed chain and as a tab selection I'm going to choose the faces of the tab and click OK and as you can see this is fit this now fit perfectly it can still move in an angular direction now if I see here to fix that from rotation I have an angle A which is the angle of 25 degrees. So I'm going to specify there the angular mate and I'm going to specify that mate between this surface and this surface here, 25 degrees. So we'll make go to a mate, that standard mate angle. Angle is a 25 and the mate selection are going to be the top surface, top face of this chain link and top face of the next chain link and the orientation should be <coughs> let's see the flip dimensions actually flip mate alignment and flip dimension until we get one of the four possible orientation and here is the orientation now for a 25 degree now what we are going to do, we are going to continue building it. We will insert this new pin and we are going to put another chain link and then we are going to specify the angle B of 125 degree between the side faces. So I will insert component, short pin. I'm going to make the short pin concentric and I'm going to make coincident of the top two like we did previously. And I'm going to insert another chain link. And I'm going to make that chain link inner. Mm -hmm. And 
let's see because they look to be exactly coincidental I don't maybe need to use the width mate if I use coincident mate and I, I choose this face and this face here yeah that will work because these two are exactly the same distance so that can save us out now let's specify the angle and the angle is 125 degree between those two opposite faces so I'm going to choose the mate angle angle is 125 and I'm going to choose this face and this face here and here is my angle of 125 placed it now I'm going to place a new pin Place the pin, the short pin. Again, we will do the mates. Cylindrical and coincidental. And we are going to place the next component. Chain link. And the same cylindrical and coincidental mate. Let's see the angular constraint. That angle is C for 130 degree. So we will pull it something like this and now I'm going to place a mate of the angular mate of 135 I believe. Yep, no 130. And I'm going to choose between the corresponding faces. Click OK. And the last component that I need to add is a one more long pin. And then we should check the center of gravity. So I will insert component, insert a long pin. Going to mate it again in the same manner. So I will make the cylindrical with a cylindrical. Click OK. And coincident and this completely define my assembly now I'm going to run the evaluation of the mass properties if I go to evaluate top and mass properties I will need to choose report coordinate system value related to my new coordinate system which is coordinate system 1 related to the coordinate system one and let's see we have 348.66 minus 88.48 and minus 91.40 let's see our options what do we have here as an answer x348.66 448.308 348.66 how about this y minus 88.48 minus 88.48 so the second one is correct and the third z is minus 91.40 so we now know that this is a hundred percent correct result so to move to the next question tangix you will press the next question now the second question is extremely simple. All what we need to do is to change the values by clicking on the mates and by retyping the new numbers and then clicking on the rebuild and answer those questions. So the angle A now is 30 degree. So if I go back to my mates, I can open my mates folder and I can find my first angle one. That's my angle A. I can click on the value and change it to a 30. And as I change, I can rebuild it. You can see it goes to the new position. So that was my angle. Now, my angle B 
will go from 125 to 115. So I will change to the 115 degree. And my angle C is going to 135 degree from 130. So I click on a mate and then go and change the value. 135. And I will click rebuild, evaluate, mass properties, be sure that it is for a coordinate system 1. And what I need to do, I got the new mass properties for x coordinate 327.67. I can highlight the number with a press on the left button of the mouse. Press Ctrl C to copy. Go to a tangix and paste the value. So that way I avoid errors in retyping. Minus 98.39. Highlight. Ctrl C for copying. Ctrl V. And the last one is minus 102.91 for a Z. So Ctrl C and Ctrl, Ctrl V to copy it. All right, so in this demonstration, we've seen how to use the zip file folder from Tangex to get our parts, how to unzip it and place it in a proper directory. We've seen how to create a coordinate system in a po in an arbitrary position as requested by our exam. We've seen the use of the width mate, and we figure out that in this particular case we can as well as use coincidental mate because this distance and this distance is exactly the same. We've seen how we can easily change mate to satisfy the new configuration of the assemblies and how to use copy and paste to avoid errors in retyping the values. Okay, thank you for watching.